Developed in the late 1800s by the Imperial Russian military, the Mosin Nagan M9130 was the standard service rifle of the Soviet Union during World War II. Materials for this prop include cardboard, a half inch diameter dowel rod, brown and black electrical tape, duct tape, aluminum tape, silver spray paint, two paper towel rolls, scissors, an X-Acto blade, and a pen or pencil. First, draw out the shape of your rifle and use scissors or an X-Acto blade to cut it out. Remember to exercise caution when using an X-Acto blade. Cut out four to six copies of the rifle, depending on the thickness of the cardboard. Cut off the top portion of the two middle templates as shown in the diagram. Sandwich the two cut pieces in between the two complete templates and insert the dowel rod as shown. And now it's time to move outside. Always be safe when handling spray paint. Use goggles and masks at all times. Paint the dowel rod silver. Cut through the length of your first paper towel roll and roll it tight until your dowel rod barely fits through it. Duct tape it shut. Wrap a spare bit of cardboard into a roll about 5 inches long and duct tape it shut. Duct tape this new piece in the center of the paper towel roll. Cut your outer rifle templates as shown in the diagram. Cut through your second paper towel roll. Cover the paper towel roll in strips of electrical tape. Slip the bolt action piece onto the dowel rod so that the edges of the two meet. Place the piece on the black electrical taped piece and mark the point where the bolt handle connects. Use the X-Acto knife and scissors to cut a rectangle in the center of the roll to about an inch from the end. Use a bit of electrical tape to cover over the points you just cut. Duct tape the black piece to the outside of one of the interior rifle pieces, with the rectangle closest to the butt of the gun. Place the dowel rod with the bolt handle beneath the black piece so that the handle now fits through the rectangle and the dowel rod rests on the interior rifle pieces. Here's the same thing from a slightly different perspective. Duct tape the second half of the black piece down to the opposite side of the interior pieces. Duct tape the dowel rod to the forestock of the gun. Cut a notch in the black piece for the bolt handle's lock position and cover in electrical tape. Cut the triggers out of the two exterior rifle pieces. Wrap one exterior piece in brown electrical tape around the bolt action and the trigger. Repeat for the other exterior piece. Sandwich the entire interior piece between the two outer rifle pieces. Use duct tape to attach all of the pieces together at both ends. Wrap the stock and butt of the gun in brown electrical tape. Wrap the trigger with a bit of duct tape. Wrap the rear sights portion in black electrical tape. Wrap the forestock in brown electrical tape, avoiding the black rear sights. Use black electrical tape to connect the receiver area to the rear sights. Cover the trigger and magazine housing in aluminum tape. 
cut off about 2 inches of the bolt assembly handle and wrap all of the components in aluminum tape. In retrospect, I should have done that before assembling the rifle. Test the bolt action several times to make sure all of the cardboard and duct tape are covered and to loosen the assembly itself. Cover the bottom portion of the rear sights piece and any other places still revealing cardboard in brown electrical tape. And there's your finished Mosin Nagan. As with all the prop weapons I build, a word of caution. Be careful, don't point them at anyone offset, and when not in use, be sure to mark them at the tip with a bright colored object. See you next time!